The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome, everyone, to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're in or where you're at. Doesn't matter if you're trying to sell uh, ice cubes to Alaskans or having a Long Island tea in Nebraska. You can be anywhere as long as you're here at this time. <coughs> The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got uh, one of the lightest volatility days um, in recent history on options expiration, uh, assuming that they've got that all out of the way on the way up. Um, got some questions. You know, you're, you're pretty close to 4,700 on the S&P cash. Uh, that suggests that you're probably going to see uh, the VIX stabilize today. Uh, you're going to have to probably move 20 points uh, up or down to get it really moving from here, sitting at $20.50, uh, 57 cents last tick I show. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we get uh, once a month, we get this uh, wash, rinse, repeat cycle. Uh, where the option market makers take the uh, longer-term options uh, that maybe have been out there for 30, 60, 90 days. Uh, when they get to the last seven trading days, generally, that's where they can lose a lot of money. And they just uh, they probably already made 75% of what's going to happen. If you want to think about it uh, this way, think about it uh, as the warranty on your car battery. Uh, by the time it gets to the three years uh, in the four-year cycle, uh, you get 20 bucks for the $100 battery toward the purchase of a yet or newer battery. That's what it is. They, they tend to uh, getting, get uh, down to darn near nothing at this point. And why do they want to hang on to that kind of risk? Well, they don't. So they, if they're long one thing, maybe they short the equity on the other side. Maybe if they're short something, they buy the equity on the other side. Uh, they're going to lock in whatever they have and take whatever the premium decay is left in what's out there. 20 for the VIX, um, high, what is it? It's not 50, 60. It's actually fairly low from, the, from what I suspect the uh, volatility is. But that's it. We've got a lot of things set up uh, for volatility. Um, we're up a little bit more on crude, up 63 cents. Hasn't made any difference, at least down here in the uh, in the uh, Florida region, on gas. It's uh, the uh, gas price looks uh, for regular or irregular uh, at about three dollars 29 cents. It's stuck. The ten dollars down didn't really do much to shake it, but you know it all didn't go up that much down here. We would buy almost everything from Venezuela. It all comes in here at the port of Tampa. Anyway, uh, as we continue to look at uh, what's going on in the market, uh, a lot of people um, are at the point where it's the end of the year's over. There's no way that the market could go lower. Uh, everybody's gone. All I can say is there is a death of short sellers, uh, which is never a good sign when you're going back up. Um, you always want those folks that you can squeeze regularly, not irregularly, on the way back higher. So the upside is probably muted extensively from here. Doesn't mean you can't go up a little bit each day. But uh, there's not the amount of folks that we had get short at the low. Uh, we've had uh, for the indexes, uh, which mostly trade on the American Stock Exchange, we had the one of the lowest recorded trends ever, which suggests that we are fairly overbought. 
and the advanced decline line tells you that it, it not that you're headed lower, but that you are probably not headed higher anytime soon. So not really surprised to see, at least in the S&P, uh, a move of only a tenth of percent higher as we go forward. But, uh, you know, generally uh, a few things happen. Uh, when markets go sideways, people go to commodities. Um, so keep a close eye on those. Those are probably where the action is going to be between now and the end of the year. Uh, question, do I see 4,700? Um, so far today, option market makers are still betting on 4,600. They really haven't changed much. All they've done is sold tons of calls on the way up, uh, mostly in the last 30 or 40 points on the S&P. So, yeah, there's probably a pretty good chance that we've got everybody in. Um, there is a lot of action in, in the market. I wouldn't say a lot, but there is action in the market that comes when literally everybody that can ever go long is long. Uh, and I would say the other thing you really want to watch at here is the TLT. Uh, triple tops, 149.06 is the last on the TLT. You got the government ready to spend again. Um, the TLT tells you a couple things. One, uh, we had uh, both the Fed and uh, uh, global market money coming in, mostly because of the bad behavior of the chai -coms. Uh Those are the Chinese communists, if you uh, live in Lutz, Florida. But uh, we've got that. So, no, is everything rosy? No. Is everything perfect? No. But uh, we have a market that's set up and priced for perfection. Uh, when you don't get that perfection, we have uh, something like we had today, which is earnings disasters. It's the Titanic. It's the Poseidon Adventure. It's an enigma wrapped in a riddle, uh, but certainly not something you want to see today. If you're owners of this, at one point it was down almost 28%, and that was Stitch Fix. Uh, seeing a lot of these... Uh, 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 companies that did very well during the pandemic continue to sell off. Um, and again, it's hard to tell exactly, but uh, the, uh, the uh, courts have once again put a much a, a pretty much a death knell on mandates. So uh, the chances of having some kind of federal lockdown is slim and none. Uh, whether you can have that on the state level, which is where these have always been, because we have such a vast and uh, wonderful country from sea to shining sea and across the fluted, uh, fluted across the uh, fruited plain. Uh, we're so large. Uh, those kind of health things have always been left to the governors of the state, and they will be again. Uh, as to the rulings uh, lately. So you can't really l look at a uh, shutdown as we've had in the past. Uh, in fact, almost all the other stuff, even the mandates uh, for government employees, and that stuff, look like they're in trouble. So I don't think we're going to have any real shutdown. The question is, is the Fed going to continue to pump as they did going into what looks like another $2 billion or $2 trillion? dollars added to the government debt here in the next couple of days. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. as Pat did to the Philippines. Uh, we take a look at the first question of the day, and it's from Pete. Pete says, can you tell if most of the uh, call uh, buying volume was done this week was in Friday's expiration? It's never going to be. Um, there's generally uh, 8 to uh, 15 times as many options in the monthlies expiration than there are in the weeklies so it'd be you know, generally all you have in the weeklies is everybody buying puts and calls in apple um so you have a very thin market for weekly options they're there but it's nothing like the monthly and um, the ones that go out 60 90 days that's where the volume is in that market uh, so yeah it's never going to be the most um, what you would probably want to do if you had a question like that is pose it a slightly better way, and that is, uh, historically, uh, is this week any bigger uh, for call buying than other weeks, uh, not in uh, monthly options expiration? And uh, I would say no. I think it's uh, running along the lines that you would think it would. Um, anyway, questions about... Uh, where options are pointing to. As I said, uh, at 1 o'clock, it was about 4,600. That doesn't mean a lot because almost uh, all the time, uh, you're going to get some kind of definitive, not definitive, uh, uh, larger movement by the end of the day. What you get is a fairly good indication of where they started from, but that from about 1 to 2 o'clock changes. And generally, you have a huge amount of sandbagging going on uh, where a lot of stuff just shows up at 3.30 or 3.45 or even right at the close. So most of the time, I don't spend a lot of time until the Thursday when we talk again here at the show or in the uh, newsletter in the morning saying that maybe something has really changed. But uh, at the most part, nothing really has changed yet. So eh, just think of it. That way, we have a, a fairly good indication. It'd probably take a lot to give it up, get it up to 4,700. Uh, there's nobody I know who thinks the stock market's going down. 
And that's always tells me that probably the cheap side of options and the ones that are probably priced incorrectly are the ones to the downside. Does it mean it happens? No. But again, um, I will go back to probably the Bible of options uh, trading uh, long term, and that is uh, fooled by randomness, uh, where a lot of people don't know that, uh, you know, that there's uh, uh, the trader who, you know, has a 55% batting average, right? Just a little bit better over the, over the uh, uh, flip of a coin. But he does enough and cuts his losses quickly, and he makes money. Um, some of those folks actually make a lot more money on their trades, but they keep doubling up and everything else. So, you know what? There's just a lot of that kind of, uh, of thoughts until one day when you get a move, market, uh, move that doesn't stop, and those people get wiped out. And those are the people like... Uh, I said so often, uh, uh, what's her name from ARC? Um, Kathy Woods reminds me exactly what he was talking about. Uh, he, uh, Nassim Tlaib in the book, says take the opposite side of that. And he says, you know what? I can lose 10 times or 20 times in a row because when, I, when uh, the payoff comes, uh, it's uh, 50 to 1. Now, you don't always have to go that far out. But you can kind of turn odds on their head, and that's generally what I do, which is, uh, yeah, can you take some small losses? Uh, what you don't want to do is see options that are cheap and go, you know what, I'm going to add a whole lot more risk because these options are cheap. Options are there to reduce risk, not take more on. So when you have volatile markets, options are a good bet, mostly because uh, if you're on the wrong side, of huge moves as we've seen in the last 10 days, you don't get blown out. You don't lose 50% or 25 or 30% uh, as you uh, would have uh, today on um, Stitch Fix. Um, actually, it looked fairly good coming in, but there's a difference between um, good trading, asymmetric trading, and just gambling. And, you know, you really didn't have anything out here that said it's really time for the market to take off uh, to the upside for Stitch Fix. Uh, you didn't really have a lot pointing on the downside. Uh, the only thing I have to say is uh, whatever it was, Stitch Fix uh, options were probably cheap compared to the loss you took if you were on the long side. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Uh, I got more emails here. Let me take a look at that. Okay. Uh, okay. I did a scan of stock percentage gainers yesterday. Many were uh, were had to head high short interest were near the 52-week lows before the week's rally. More signs of just a bounce and a downtrend. Okay. Uh, do you think uh, TLT is headed to a new low? Well, it certainly does not look good. I suspect it's headed back down to 146.50. Okay. And uh, yeah, options are crazy expensive. <laughs> I made a comment somewhere, and it's kind of interesting to see that comment on a Google platform. And then you get uh, a handful of days later a uh, ad for that product that you mentioned somewhere on YouTube shows up in your Amazon feed. You don't think they're talking, especially when this item is not something that if I give you a million guesses and the cataloged Amazon you would ever think of. So you know they're watching and reading and watching and learning and hanging out. Uh, question about fascist book. Uh, or as I call it, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Metamucil. Um, there is a question uh, today uh, from one of our gentle listeners about what's going on. Um, you did gap up over the last couple of days, uh, but uh, they're in front of Congress over the next couple hours. 
I don't know if there's going to be a lot happen. Um, you did make kind of a low here on lighter volume for Metamucil, uh, otherwise known as Meta Platforms, uh, running away from the name of Facebook, which is now uh, eh, kind of up there with Ebola. Uh, anyway, uh, you you pierced it, you're up, but you're not. You don't have, really have much in the way of volume today. A little bit better out here today than others. Uh, let's take a quick. Oh, I didn't get to uh, history. Uh, we'll do that in a minute, and uh, after the break, and then we we'll get to the rest of these charts already in progress over most of these TFNN stations. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. On this day in 1949, as they steadily lose ground to the communist forces of Mao, and it's a little red book, Chinese nationalist leaders depart for the island of Taiwan, to make it a virtual paradise compared to the mainland, where they uh, establish their new capital, build uh, the largest semiconductor 
manufacturing capability in the world. Nationalist leaders, uh, uh, Chai, uh, Kai, Chiang Kai-shek, he said, left for the island the following day. The action marked the beginning of the two Chinas scenario that left mainland China under the communist control and vexed U.S. diplomacy for the next 30 years. It also signaled the effect of the end of a long struggle between Chinese nationalist forces and those of the communist leader Mao Zi, Zidong. Through scattered Chinese nationalists continued sporadic combat with the communist armies. But of course, uh, eh, maybe an extra 100 million dead, no big deal. Uh, but uh, always the eventual result of all communism, uh, deaths, and as they say, uh, uh, difference between socialism and communism. S communism starts with a gun to your head, and socialism ends with one. But uh, on this day in 1949, we got to see the difference between two different economic theories. One that uh, eh, only until they changed to a, at least a little bit of capitalism uh, did you see how big a difference it made. Now they're, of course, uh, going back and thinking about how they can uh, uh, once again dominate the world uh, with a uh, bankrupt philosophy. We'll be back uh, and talking about this ad nauseum. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Metaflat forms up. Not a lot of juice. I uh, had some questions about uh, the queues, which we'll get to right now. To um, you had a gap up, you know, what you're really looking at is the, or I'm looking at is two volumes. Uh, that volume is uh, 78 million on the first. Uh, you had 56 million shares yesterday. Uh, you got 27 million shares on the queues today, and that pretty much goes with uh, what we find when we look at uh, volumes in the market. Uh, especially if you look at the advanced decline level, has it gotten a little bit better? Yes. Is it anything to write home about? I would contend no. Uh, I got the wrong one up here. Maybe I'll find the right one here. Okay. Advanced decline. That's what I wanted to look at. Okay. I got three screens and I still have not enough room on my screen here. Let's get this up. Uh, one of the things I did want to bring up, as I said, uh, is the uh, trend. We don't talk about it a whole lot, mostly because it only works about three or four times a year. But uh, what I want to show here and bring your attention to, and we'll make it bold. There I did. I bolded it uh, on what's in my newsletter every morning. But this is just the uh, raw data uh, from the CBOE. Uh, but more important to me yesterday uh, was the advanced decline line. Uh, it has gone just the opposite way it was back on the first. Uh, that was massively overbought to maybe the most, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, to the most um, oversold, overbought. Uh, so when we're looking at a 0.12 on the Amex, Remember that the Amex is where most of those things like the Qs and other ETFs that are extremely popular actually trade, right? So even the other ones, they'll be in a range and stuff like that. But it, uh, in a world where a lot of people uh, look at ETFs and or indexes like the Qs going after it, when you see a 0.12 on a trend, that's kind of like saying that this is maybe the most significant move and why I said that the markets probably have a very low probability of any higher. Uh, but uh, if they're going anywhere, probably lower. But uh, always a good indication if you look at the Amex advanced decline line and see uh, what you're talking about, uh, what's going on. Uh, even yesterday, just one new high in any of those doesn't mean that we're back up to the levels we were before uh, just people changing horses and eventually uh, with the volume it's telling you that uh, so far uh, we haven't come back in okay so anyway cues 
volume didn't increase on the gap higher yesterday, didn't increase uh, yesterday. Uh, the Qs were the weak sister on the way down and pretty much on the way back up, too, showing uh, more problems. Okay. Yes. Yes, I know that meow is uh meow someone said that today i've been hearing it several places so it must someone must have said something and it's gotten all the way around yes mao is a cat uh and of course they're big on their cats in china both as pets and i won't i won't say it <laughs> Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. So, what else do we have? Uh, we're up six points on the S and P cash. Anyway, uh, we were looking at uh, some of these others. Let's go back uh, to the ones everybody goes to in uh, times of trouble. Mary, Mother Mary, come to me, singing words of wisdom. Let it be. Microsoft uh, not holding yesterday's gap higher. Uh, didn't quite, quite get a little higher, but man, you've got a pretty big wall at about 335 for resistance, uh, volume pretty light today up, uh, 13.7 million shares. So, uh, you may be doing the, the regular thing, uh, in FLX. We'll go through the fangs real quick here. See if anything else is going, uh, very light volume bounce, uh, in Netflix, uh, just up to where resistance is, as shown by the 3x3 three three and the 9-day moving average. Let's go back to the displaced moving average. So you're back up above it. Uh, again, uh, any kind of uh, low like the 594 low is not a low in my book uh, until we go back and retest it. Yeah, You don't have to go all the way to the low, but... You know, it would be nice if this came back to like 6.05 uh, or even 6.10 uh, and then started back higher. I'd feel a lot better about it. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, let's look at the Amazon. A uh, lot of PR from these guys lately. In fact, I think a lot of the bounce uh, for them yesterday was on uh, the articles that they put out about how they're so much better with their own uh, uh, supply lines uh, to the Orient that uh, they're doing okay. Eh, nice bounce yesterday, just going sideways today, about half the volume so far of yesterday. Back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, we uh, take a look at the S&Ps up four and a half points, Dow down 28, NASDAQ up 64, the Russell up 16, crude oil up 58 cents. Uh, two, 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 two. And so, well, let's go back to this. Anyway, uh, Dave, Dave and Buster's earnings out overnight. One of the ones to the upside actually saying that they're seeing renewed traffic, people coming back in, especially since they cater to a younger demographic. Uh, they may be easier to get uh, people back in playing uh, games uh, and eating food inside, still problematic in some cities. But uh, back up to where this thing gapped down on the 26th of November, uh, that gap down to 1.2 million shares. You're up by uh, 2.3, 2.4. Some of some of these retailers actually doing okay. Uh, to, to, to what else did we have out here? I uh, had a question to go back and look uh, at the uh, 3D printer companies real quick and see if there's anything going on. Uh, the same problem that uh, we'll look at SSYS, but I know 3D Systems has, is not a problem with manufacturing so much as a uh, problem with uh, the supply chains reaching back to China where a lot of the motors and other things that they build up are made, and it's hard to get around that. Um, but up a little bit, but not much. I think the supply chains... Or they're going to have to start making this stuff in Mexico or somewhere where they can get it uh, earlier or easier. Still a big problem for these guys. SSYS. Um, Stratasys, a little bounce out of here. Kind of the same kind of thing. And that is these companies have a huge bright future. The question is, when does it take off? I do have to say that I uh, saw a great new device. Um, again, a lot of this stuff um, started off with the technology of a hot glue gun and a CNC machine. Uh, and a great deal of the consumer things that people think of as 3D printing are still there. Um, they've gone on to some really neat new technology, but it is more kind of industrial and people haven't really seen it or know what it is. Uh, but certainly using uh, a technology like um, LCD uh, uh, screens uh, for actually turning goo, kind of a gelatinous goo, into something that hardens up to the object that you want to print is there. Uh, one of the problems is that technology still means that you have to clean up the part when it's done. It's not ready to go. Uh, one of the newest technology that uh, was shown just over the last seven or ten days I'll have to put it in the uh, Tech Insider on Friday, was a uh, technology where you don't have to do that anymore. 
the uh, you kind of print something that's about the consistency of uh, what would you call it uh, toothpaste so it can kind of stick for a little bit uh, and instantly shine you heavy UV light on it uh, and it will cure it almost instantaneously uh, or enough that it's not going to move and you can use a little more UV light on it later. Uh, but this means that you can actually build parts out uh, out of acrylic instead of plastic. And a lot of people are raving about this for sign making and other new uh, ideas. Again, this is kind of uh, the whole 3D printing thing is kind of the early innings. Think about uh, what the computer uh, business was like even before 1990, uh, it was probably the Internet in 1995, 96 that really got uh, a lot of people adopting uh, having a computer in every pot. Or maybe pot with every computer guy. Don't know. Anyway, it, random thoughts go through my head. So anyway, what we have uh, is some new technology uh, that could really make uh, the hot glue gun kind of go away and get replaced with something that's much better uh, along with finished parts. Uh, the big idea of going from uh, thermoplastics and uh, all the other variety of plastics, some of them putting out notch, uh, noxious gases and other things, um, is that this new technology allows you to sand and paint uh, parts uh, along with having color in it to begin with. But I'm thinking that it's you know, this is kind of newer stuff, and it's just been out. Like I said, I think they showed it for the first time. Uh, but the demo was them printing a 12-foot car in one print out of the whole thing. Uh, but they were printing uh, about a six-foot section of that car uh, in about a day. And if you know anything about 3D printing, that is pretty amazing. Generally, what these guys are printing are small parts. Maybe uh, the build volume is 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches, and then that takes a half a day. So if you could print an entire car or half a car in six hours or in a day, uh, pretty much a order of magnitude speed increase. And uh, what they were showing on the trade floor that I saw on YouTube uh, was them doing this with life scale models of cars. Uh, instead of in the old days or even today, uh, cars are uh, um, mostly prototypes are put out with clay and they'll sculpt the clay. I think everybody's seen commercials of them doing that. And then they'll maybe make a mold off that and then make fiberglass on it. I imagine just being able to print out various versions of a car ready to go uh, just to hit with a little bit of a paint. A clay model sculptures may be a thing of the past. Now that the build volume's up to the size where you could actually print something like a car or a door panel. So, uh, again, early innings in this. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, 3D printing's not going away. But certainly we're getting to that kind of second inning where we had computers that were basically toys uh, through the 80s. Uh, you, you, know, you could do a few things that were actually business-like. Uh, spreadsheets, word processors still in the early days. But if you were a legal office, you know, it made sense to use one, maybe a few other things. But by the 90s, how many people weren't using a uh, word or something else? So it may, maybe it takes 10 years. We, what, maybe, maybe eight years down the line with 3D printing um, a great deal on, a, on kind of the low end. And generally, the low end pushes the high end to get something more like it did in this thing. But anyway, Stratasys 3D systems, not much now. And it's all the supply line, which these guys are 95%. Uh, for something about printing your own thing, uh, always interesting. Probably the neatest comment I've ever, ever seen on Amazon was for a 3D printer. <laughs> and the guy says... Uh, if I buy this, can I print my own 3D printer and then return this printer? I always thought that that was kind of the, you want to talk about meta or endless loop. Isn't that cool thought? 
Of course, you can't do it. But cool thought. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. Uh, Zach asks, uh, what do you think of long restoration hardware at this level? Um, well, you almost got railroad track bottom out here. You got some decent volume off the low, but no follow through now. My belief is the best pattern, not that that's what this stock is going to follow, but the best pattern would be a dip back below uh, something like 570-ish. Uh, and then the next move back above would be the one I'd want to buy. I'm not a big fan of thinking a lot of this stuff goes higher before the end of the year. In fact, stocks in a downtrend are notorious for the last few weeks of staying in that downtrend until the first of the year. Uh, just uh, people continuing to sell and take the losses uh, if the retail trailer uh, traders out. Of course, we've gone through the window for... Uh, the big guys, uh, the big men of the street, as they're called, uh, for them, their tax selling, which ends at the at the end of November. Uh, but we still have a lot of people in retail and overseas, stuff like that, looking for offsets. And if you're not doing well in a losing position, you made a bunch of money and you took the cash somewhere else. Uh, maybe you sold a big winning position on the downtrend. 
uh, and you want to, you, this one's a loser, so you take it. Generally, that runs until the end of the year. So I think, you know, don't go to your lawyer, don't ask me, but I'm pretty sure that as long as you sell within the last three days of the year, uh, that that qualifies and clears. I don't know if you can still do it on the last day of the year. Oh, it'll be a question for my accountant. But, uh, yeah, you, you, if you're in a downtrend, don't expect a lot of change. Yeah. At the end of the year, uh, this has been a downtrend. Wow. So when you can, not when you have to, we're going to see you here tomorrow. Thank you. That time. <laughs>